Hi guys, it's Stump from CKGC and today we're going to be doing my reactions or my re reviews on the ch Champions League games that have been happening today. So, I've got the Champions League games here on my tablet and then I'm going to tell you guys about them. So, first of all, we're going to start with Ola's team, Man United. Man United lost 3-1. With a red card, Fred getting sent off. Um, goal two from Neymar, one from Marquinhos, and one goal from Marcus Rashford. Um, which I think puts Paris Saint Germain top of the group. Yeah, right. So then we'll move on to the Borussia Dortmund game. For, right. Also with the Man United game, I just thought pretty poor game. It looked a poor game. So yeah, that's just my reviews on it. And then, right, we're going to go with the Borussia Dortmund game and Lazio. So, Borussia Dortmund did go 1-0 up, I remember. And then, I can't remember who scored for them. But then I know Chiro Mobile scores for Lazio, Lazio to make it 1-1. And I've well deserved draw for Lazio. And good points, especially at... Dort, especially in Germany, from all the way from Italy, that's a good, like, they're from Italy, Dortmund from Germany. You go to Germany, I feel like you would take a point. Then we go to Fen Vakos, Vakaros against Barca. Sorry, I hate this tablet because it all, like, you know when it starts to go, like, it goes dull when it's going to go off. I hate it. So Barcelona win 3-0. I think Barcelona should be absolutely destroying them. I mean, I'm not underestimating the team because they're from a like, a, not a major league. Like that's not because that's not why I'm underestimating them. It's just because Barcelona is one of the biggest teams in the world and they have been for a while. But I feel like Barcelona is starting to fall off a cliff. Same for Real Madrid. Anyways, Juventus went three 0 against Dynamo Kiev. I was going to say that Juventus should absolutely destroy Dynamo Kiev, but then Dynamo Kiev are a good team, right? They're not a bad team. They've done so many upsets on big teams. So, I mean, if you were a Juventus fan, you would take a 3 0 win there. And, um, yeah, I feel like that's a well deserved 3 0 win. And then with, after this, we're going to go on to my Europa League predictions. Right? Club Bruges get a 3 0 win against Zenit Peterburg. I'm I'm not a big like I don't know much about um Zelatin's Peter Burke but like yeah Zelatin's Peter Burke and Club Bruce I don't really know much about I just know Zelatin's Peter Burke I don't know what league they're from I think they're from the Belgium league I know Club Bruce is from the Belgium league so they can't because you can't have the same league in one group but anyways yeah in an absolute destroying for Sevilla by Chelsea. Four goals from Olivier Giroud, though. You know, man, man hasn't played in like so long, right? He comes off the he comes off the bench normally. The start, I mean, he scored four goals in the Champions League. What can you ask from him? The man's getting old. He's won a World Cup, so like you can't ask much more. Right, so now. We're gonna go to the Europa League fixtures for tomorrow. Wait then, no, I'm not gonna do that at all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Champions League and we're gonna review the tables. No, I don't wanna keep going there, I'm gonna go there. Anyways. So, we've got Group A, and Group A is a good group. We've got Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid, RB Salzburg, and Lotomotiv Moscow. So, at the bottom, we've got Lotomotiv Moscow. It doesn't surprise us, as both, all three teams ahead of them, are probably the better team. But Bayern are top in that group. Four wins, one draw, and zero losses. And on, they're on a sort of 13 points. They're more than double ahead of everyone else. Second is an Atletico Madrid team who are basically got like they should them two should definitely be top two. On six points with RB Salzburg and Lokomotiv Moscow on four points and three points. 
Bogomov Moscow on three, Salzburg on four. Group B, and Group B is the most, I say the group of death. But Munch and Gladbach here are top in it, right? No one expected them to go into a group of Inter Milan and Real Madrid and be top of it, right? No one ex expected Shakhtar Dugnes to be ahead of the Inter Milan and Real Madrid, right? But that Munch and Gladbach in first, Shakhtar Dugnes in second, and then Real Madrid and Inter, Real in third, and Inter in fourth, right? And... I'm sorry, right, but Inter Milan and Real Madrid need to pull their finger out their backsides because they are playing stinky. Wake up, boys. Look, Dr. Cairo. Man City, Group C, right? Man City should not lose a single game in this group. Marseille, Olympiacos and Porto, right? Big, there's a couple of big teams in there. Like Marseille and Porto and Olympiacos. They're all decent teams, but... Man City, worldwide big team, wins prim win Premier Leagues and stuff. Come on, you've got to be top in that group of no problems at all. Man City, four wins, one draw, zero losses. Porto in second, three wins, one draw, one loss. Um, Olympiacos, one win, zero draws and four losses. And the same for Marseille. Just Marseille are all bottom with goal difference by two. So then we go on to Group D and Ian's team's group of Liverpool, Atlanta, Ajax, and Midland from oh Denmark. No, from Norway or Denmark. I'm gonna go Denmark, De Danish league. I'm gonna say Danish league. I keep getting mixed up. So we've got Liverpool top in the group, right? Liverpool should just top that group. There's no problems. Atlanta, Ajax, Midland, they're, they're all good teams. You can't take that away from them. But Liverpool, best team in the Prem. They should be absolutely trashing on teams. Which they have. Both the Atlanta loss, they've done well. Deserve the top spots. With Atlanta on second, beating Liverpool 2 0. Liverpool just didn't turn up. They were just really, really disappointing in that game and they deserved to lose. Atalanta was a better team. Then we've got Ajax, who f stays the same, will go into the Europa League. One point behind Atalanta, though, so them two are going to be fighting for that second spot. Um, then we've got Midtjylland, obviously, with one point and they've got no chance of get. They're just they're stuck bottom, right? They can't get out of bottom. Right, and then we've got Group A. Group A with Chelsea, Sevilla, Karanz, Odar, and Ren. Right? Chelsea are top, right? Chelsea are just actually destroying teams that deserve to be where they are. And um, they're doing well. Sevilla, who got absolutely trashed on today by Chelsea 4-0, are in second. Karanz, Odar are third going into the Europa League if they do not lose their next game. If they draw their next game, they're in um, they're in the Europa League. Right, my telly's going to go off because it's got two seconds, one second. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right. Ren bottom, Ren have just been actually woeful. They haven't even won a game yet, man. They, sh they, they should be winning games, yeah. These are La Liga, uh, not La Liga. I think they're Italian league, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, league on. They're in league on, man. Come on, you're getting beat by a team who I've never even heard of. Kranz or Da, never heard of them. Group F with Dortmund, Lazio, Club Bruges, and Zenit Saint Petersburg. So top of the group, obviously. First and second, Lazio and um, come on, we all know Dortmund's gonna top that group, and we all know Lazio are gonna come second. But if Lazio are the only team unbeaten though. Two wins, three draws, no losses. So that's not bad. You got to take that, right? Anyways, Dortmund picking up their first draw today against Lazio in a one-all draw. Club Bruges destroying Saint Petersburg, and yeah, Dortmund first. Guaranteed to go through. Wait, was it? Yeah, unless unless Club Bruges win eight nil, right? Wait, no, it'll still be guaranteed through because Lazio will drop out. Yeah, so Dortmund are guaranteed through. Lazio, if they lose and Club Bruges win, 
Lati will drop into third, put them in the Europa League, which um, which will not be good as Club Bruges aren't as good as Lazio in my eyes. In Zenit St. Peterburg, they're just out. Even if they win their next game, they'll only go on four. And Dortmund are on ten, Lazio are on nine, and Club Bruges are on seven. So they've got no chance of getting out of the bottom of the group. So then we've got two groups left. Group G and Group H, and we're going to go to Group G because that's alphabetically right. And we're going to go to the top of the group and absolutely... I keep absolutely talking smack about Barca, right? But they are destroying this group. They've got Juventus in here and they've beat Juventus, so that's not bad, right? Barcelona, 5-0, and oh, and oh, right? They haven't drawn a game, they haven't lost a game, they've won 5 and they're on 15 points out of a 15-point possibility and in top of the group. Then we've got Juventus. Off. I'm off. I'm doing making a video call. Come and do it, I'm do Right. Sorry about that. And then we've got Juventus and four in seconds with four wins and zero lo draws and one loss. Dynamo Kiev in third going into the Europa League spot if they do not lose more than 2 0. And for Ferran, I can't say their name, but the one that Barcelona beat 3 0 today, a bottom, tied on points with Dynamo Kiev, but Dynamo Kiev are winning by one goal difference. So if that's, everything stays the same, that'll be it. So we're going to quickly go through group page. Paris Saint Germain go top of the win against Man U today, which puts Man United in second, RB Leipzig in third, who won also today. In Istanbul, our last, no chance of getting in anything. But if you believe it or not, Paris Saint-Germain, Man U and RB Leipzig are all on nine points. Just goal difference separating them. So anything can happen in the final games of them. But that's it from me, Don. I've been your host. Thanks for watching and hope you guys like it. Peace.